some PC banks are illegal. In the last episode, we talked about gambling regulations in Korea, and I ended the video in a cliffhanger. That's because I felt like the information that is going to be presented now deserves its own video, because I think it's not only interesting, but serves as an excellent travel tip video for international travelers coming to Korea. PC banks, aka PC cafes, have become an experience that represents Korea. Starting back in the days when it was founded in 1988 as Cafe, or in English, Electronic Cafe, to now in 2019, PC banks have evolved from dark, smoke-filled rooms to nice, bright, clean, user-friendly, extremely comfortable gaming experience-focused forms of entertainment. And of course, with the boom of the esports industry, Many gaming fans and non-gamers who come to Korea almost always visit a Pishbang at least once because it is a unique experience. However, not all Pishbangs are meant to be. So back in 2013, I had a friend coming over from overseas, so we decided to meet up. But unfortunately, my friend got confused and he arrived earlier than promised. So because he had no SIM card or mobile data on his phone, he borrowed someone else's phone to call me and let me know that he got there earlier. And as a response, I naturally did the most Korean thing possible. And I told him, go to a Pishbang and I'll be there as soon as possible. And then I also told him to message me on Facebook once he got to the Pishbang because, well, Obviously, I thought he was going to have internet at a PCBank, but even as I was arriving, I wasn't getting any Facebook messages, so I got a little bit worried. I promised to meet my friend at Yeongdungpo Station in Seoul, so I, what I did was I basically ran around every single PCBank in the area trying to find this guy, but I couldn't find him anywhere. And then as I was running around Yeongdungpo Station, something ran across my mind, and I thought, oh. Maybe he's at an illegal Pishibang. Because at the time, there were a lot of these illegal Pishibangs near Yeongdungpo Station in Seoul. So I ran around again trying to look for what looks like an illegal Pishibang and eventually found him. He wasn't using a computer or anything, but he was just sitting in the corner doing nothing. Apparently, my friend just went around looking for the sign PC and entered the first one he could find. According to him, when he entered, the owner kept talking to him in Korean. And obviously, because he was from America, he didn't understand anything that the owner was saying. So he just kept saying, waiting for a friend, waiting for a friend, hoping the owner would understand. Luckily, the owner understood the word friend. So the owner basically told my friend to go sit in the corner quietly where the computer was off. Naturally, because my friend wanted to message me on Facebook, he tried to use the computer, but he couldn't. The owner didn't let him. Scared out of his mind and intimidated at the dark room filled with Korean men who were smoking, my friend just sat there trying to connect to a Wi-Fi and hoping that I would magically just find him. So, if the PC방 that my friend went to wasn't a normal PC방, what kind of PC방 was my friend at? Well, the PC방 that my friend entered was an illegal PC방 used strictly for gambling. Not always, but usually these PC방 disguised gambling parlors are known to be owned and operated by gangsters, and therefore aren't the safest place to run into or wait for a friend in, because obviously the computers at these PC방s don't have your typical games on them. A typical PC방 computer looks like this. Various games are downloaded and you can play whatever you wish and games like Overwatch that you normally have to pay for are completely free in a Korean PC방. So for example, I have never purchased an Overwatch ID but I can log in and play without a problem at a PC방. The computers at these illegal PC방s won't have anything of that sort. It will just be filled with a lot of programs used for gambling. Now at this point there are two things that we have to talk about. One. How do you distinguish an illegal PC방 from a real PC방 so that you don't end up sitting in a dark room with Korean gangsters? And two, should you ever feel like you need to give these gambling parlors a shot? So let's talk about number two first. Going straight to the conclusion, the answer is no. The programs on these computers will match you automatically with other people using the same program in various illegal PC banks all over the nation. And usually on these programs, you have to play Korea's favorite gambling game called Hwatu. And really, if you don't know how to play the game, I would say there's a 0% chance that you are going to be able to win. Plus, like I mentioned in my previous episode, there are many casinos in Korea that are only available to foreigners. Should you ever feel the urge to gamble while you're in Korea, please do so at a trustable casino where you won't be playing games with a 0% chance of winning. Now, more importantly, let's talk about how you can distinguish these illegal PC방s from the legit ones. Tip number one, remember some of the PC방 franchises that we have in Korea. 
And yes, like Burger King and McDonald's and Pizza Hut, we have PC방 franchises here in Korea. Some of the more well-known ones include Ibis, Season I, 3Pop, and Changte. I mean, if you just go around wherever you are and you see more than one of the same brand, I would say that's a trustable and legit PC방 to visit. Unless you're actually looking for these illegal gambling parlors, then Usually, these places will have a legit logo that looks like it wasn't designed like 30 years ago. And if you see things like this in front of the PC방, it probably means it's for gaming. Because what this means is that 1. The celebrity is a model for a game they have at the PC방. 2. The celebrity owns the PC방. 3. The celebrity is a model for the PC방 franchise that you're at. And not surprisingly, these small PC방 disguised gambling parlors cannot afford to use a celebrity as a model for their business. Tip number two, even at normal PC방s, they won't have windows because they want to block all the sunlight from entering. So look at the wrap that's covering the PC방 carefully. And if on the wrap, there are pictures of things like this, unrecognizable, low quality characters, usually holding poker cards or Hatu cards, it's time to say goodbye because my friend, that's not where you're going to find League of Legends on the computer. Tip number three. Now, if you aren't bright enough and enter the PC방 even after seeing the poker or the Hatu card, take a look inside. If it looks super dark and doesn't have many seats available, it's time to leave. Normal PC방s will have a fixed price per hour and usually sell snacks and drinks on the side to make money and that's where their profit comes from. Therefore, they need a lot of seats to make as much profit as possible. But at illegal parlors, they don't need a lot of seats because one, not a lot of people come anyway. Two, their profit lies in how much money you put into the gambling program and nothing else. So the reason I tell you not to go to these illegal gambling parlors is pretty clear. First of all, I would never want anyone to be in a dangerous situation when visiting my country. And I'm not here to say that all illegal PC방s are owned by someone who is going to harm you or who is a gangster. But I mean, never put yourself in that risk. And also because it's nearly impossible to win while playing on the illegal programs on these computers. Even if you do luckily win and make some money, the moment you take the cash out of the game, uh, that's where things become illegal. And if you were to be caught doing something like that, I don't want to talk about the catastrophic events that you're about to face afterwards. I'm not saying that the Korean police will just lock you up and put you in jail, but it's more so that you'll waste a lot of time going through investigation especially with the language barrier you probably will have. And wasting time and being investigated by the police is probably not on your bucket list of things to do while you're in Korea. And I mean, if it is on your bucket list, there are faster ways to Anyhow, as a bonus, at the end of this video, I'll attach a clip of what it looks like inside these illegal PC방s. Thanks for watching this video. And before you leave, please like this video if you found it interesting and subscribe to my channel for more interesting information on Korea and K-pop news. Until then, see you next time. <laughs>where I'm shooting from today oh my god I love rooftops always wanted a house with a rooftop like and subscribe and share this video so I can buy a